Yes! We started today with 20 competitors. Now we must say goodbye to the bottom five. No! Nice pass. Oh. Boom! Yeah. 30 competitors, five grand prize winners, and thousands and thousands of Lego bricks. This is Luminosity Academy Lego Technic First Class. Welcome to Luminosity Academy Lego Technic First Class. I'm your host and building skill master, Boone Langston. And I'm your host, Jerome Assetti, AKA Jerome ASF. I'm like your favorite Lego minifig, but slightly taller. First Class is a one of a kind competition. Kids from all over the United States and Canada are testing their creativity, problem-solving skills, and showmanship in a series of gaming and building challenges to win the ultimate prize, a spot in the Luminosity Gaming Academy. The Luminosity Academy is the incredible brand new gaming org from Luminosity Gaming, the number one name in esports and gaming. Last week, 30 talented contestants competed in a Lego Technic speed build that challenged both their motor skills and decision-making under pressure. Brayson and Zachary showed off their superior build skills with McLaren, Hunter blew away the competition in the Ducati build, and Drew, Ibby, and Sebastian dominated on the Jeep build. New, exciting challenges await our remaining 20 contestants. This week, 20 competitors remain, and we'll be saying farewell to at least five more of our contestants by the episode's end. To emerge victorious, they'll need to show they have superior collaborative abilities and problem-solving skills. And to tell you more about why those skills are so important, it's me from another dimension. Thanks, other Boone. Today we're going to be focusing on two skills that are crucial in both content creation and in building LEGO Technic sets. Their collaboration and problem solving. While LEGO Technic models like this off-road buggy are a blast to build and experiment with by yourself, sometimes it's just better to build with a friend. And that's exactly what we're testing the kids on today. How well they can collaborate with others to overcome an obstacle and achieve a common goal. Working collaboratively can be one of the best parts of building with LEGO. Having a partner gives us the opportunity to focus on our personal strengths and let the other person do the same. This off-road buggy has an intricate Technic base along with a flashy exterior and power functions. Our competitors will be combining their ability to work well in a team setting with their ability to maneuver radical vehicles similar to this Technic buggy. All right, enough of that guy. Yeah, enough of him. Wait, that's me. It's time for our first immunity challenge. This immunity challenge is called League It To Me. Splitting into teams of two, our competitors must work together to defeat their opponents and emerge victorious. Rocket League is a game that rewards teamwork, and that's what we're looking for in all of our eventual members of Luminosity Academy's first class. 10 contestants will gain immunity and automatically move on to the next stage of the competition. The remaining 10 contestants will have to face an elimination challenge later in this episode. So let's see who's ready to stop Collaborate and Piston. Let's do it. Yep, let's do this thing. And they're off. In round one, we have Avery and Sebastian versus Ridge and Kai. Okay, they both came out for the ball. Okay. I got this. Right, oh yeah, I'll eat. Need you play. There we go, and oh, almost an immediate goal. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's all good, all good. Okay, he whiffed. Okay. Nice shot. Proxy with the first score of the game in 20 seconds flat. 20 Incredible. seconds in. Us? Give me that you first that? touch. And it's on your side. What's up now? Oh, you got that? I missed. Center for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is that another one for Proxy? Oh. Bro, it is two to zero, and it hasn't even been 30 seconds yet. Oh, I'll go in. And it looks like Proxy has stolen the ball back immediately. He's unstoppable out here. Proxy and Seabass are gonna no. be hard. Did to he beat. just do that? He did it! Oh my goodness. Let's go. And it looks like that will be it for the game. Avery and Sebastian are safe. Ridge and Kai move on to the elimination challenge. 
All right, so here we are with the second match that we're going to be watching today. We have both Darker and Kalos on one team, followed up by Z Mojo and Team Six on the other. Nice, 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 nice. No, no, no. We have Orange take you. Oh, never mind. Oh. Blue gets it back almost immediately. Should be on. Yes, let's go. Easy start. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Blue, Blue. might have found a hole in the defense. There and it is. And they saw it I through. Just, let's, get it. let's see if Orange has a chance to get themselves on the board here. Uh, it's on our side. They've got control right out of the gate, and Blue takes it. Oh, no. I'm not even going to be mad. Oh, it's you. Yeah. All right, Blue with a reverse oh. shot. That was hilarious. They brought it down, <laughs> stopped the ball, and then proceeded to back into it to take the third goal. Boom. Love it. That was an awful kickoff. And whoa, Team Six just took out missing thoughts. That's going to delay them quite a bit as they have to wait for not only the respawn, but also the loss of their boosters. Okay, Blue positioning up for a fourth goal. Oh my gosh. And he makes it happen, even while down a teammate for that brief period of time. TJ and Justin are safe. James and Zachary move on to the elimination challenge. All right, well, that's off the jump. It looks like Orange is taking control of the ball and is immediately hammering down on the goal for one missed shot. Okay, good job. Put it more towards them, they brought it back. Orange takes it right back. Orange commanding that the ball stays near Blue's goal. Oh, but wait a minute. We might have a breakaway from Bray the Reaper. And no, looks like Tristan was able to keep the ball down on Blue's side. But wait a minute, we have a mid-goal shot. There we go oh, from midfield. The first goal of the game for BM Truck, a blue team. There we go, look at that. Takes off from just after half field and fires away. Incredible. We have 60 seconds, dude. I got, I'm in that mode. But can Orange team make a goal? Can they get one on the board? There's only a minute left to do it. We have 50 seconds. Hit it, hit it. Come on, dude. I'm stressing. I don't, I, I'm, you're stressing me out. <laughs> Getting stressed, bro. If something happen here, it'll be very, very interesting. They've got to defend their own goal first. If this ball gets in, no, oh. Tristan saving it. If that ball went in, that would have been nights out for Orange. That was the best save of the game we've seen. With 13 seconds left, Orange can still make it happen, and there it is. Bray the Reaper, unfortunately for Orange, closing the game off there. With 11 seconds, there's really not much hope for Orange to take this one away. Brayson and Braylon are safe. Tristan and Duke move on to the elimination challenge. All right, we're about to get off to the jump here, and Orange immediately takes the ball for a goal within two seconds. Two seconds, Junkman 99 taking out the garbage. If I'm on blue team right now, I'm thinking, all right, we gotta regroup, we've gotta take this seriously, and it looks like maybe they are. I don't know, Junkman no. again with another goal. 18 seconds, two goals for the Junkman himself. This could be good. I'm excited. Hopefully, Ibby or Sun A30 can pull something off here to try and get command of that ball. And wait a minute, it looks like Junkman won the jump there. However, here's the problem. I didn't see any opposition even come after the ball. They just let him have it. Junkman really does seem to be running this field like it's his. I think the problem is, is that he takes command of the ball immediately. And unless Blue starts contesting those face-offs, that's going to spell their doom for the rest of the match, in my opinion. Here we go. Ball is up. And Junkman with the hat trick. Three goals in 47 seconds. Here we go. Yeah, and he made a run for it, but missed. And it looks like Junkman held off the ball for once, and Drewster was actually the one to take the face off for the team. Ibby trying to stay on it. Junkman working his way in there. And Junkman might be able to set himself up for a nice goal. And oh, at the set end. Set it up for Drewster, his teammate. Now, I want to watch this back, because Junkman was going for his fourth goal, and Drewster comes in and steals the point from his teammate. Bro, look at Boom. that. <laughs> Hilarious. Drew and Christian are safe. Ibby and Aiden move on to the elimination challenge. 
Oh, here we go. It looks like Blue trying to get an early goal there on Orange, but Orange was able to kick the ball out. Orange keeping it away from their goal for the time being. But Blue hammering back down as Jay Long pulls off a nice, quick yeah. goal. All right. It's pretty much lucky. Oh, ow. <laughs> Jay Long taking out Dr. Meatloaf, which will provide a unique position for Blue to try and take control. But no, it looks like Meatloaf respawned, immediately took the ball, and is throwing it in their face. Hey. There it is. What a comeback. You love to see something like that. And here we go, Blue team lining up. If his other teammate is in position, I was going to say he could try for the pass, but Blue Ghost not letting anything happen from it. And now we have aggressive player Meatloaf driving in the goal. Dr. Meatloaf. At this point, it's a constant back and forth. Are we watching ping pong or are we watching Rocket League? There's no! only one minute remaining and it is two to two. We might end up with a tie here. This could be any team's game. And Orange trying to figure out how to work the walls there for a second. And it looks like that ball is open. Meatloaf on a breakaway in the last 10 seconds of the game. Oh. Oh my Dr. goodness! Up until that point, I thought we were going to see our first overtime shootout. However, Meatloaf just comes out of nowhere. Straw Hat, Frost God, not able to defend it. Here we go, in the final 10 seconds, Blue making an immediate push. They are not able to get it on goal, though. That might have been the only shot they had. And it looks like they lose control of the ball, and that is indeed the end of that round. Landon and Connor are safe. Miles and Hunter move on to the Elimination Challenge. Justin, AKA Kalos, AKA Missing Thoughts, you were one of the standout players in the 2v2 Rocket League match. How did it feel? Me and my teammate, we had a lot of fun. We weren't expecting to do as good as we did. Yeah, I mean, the final score was a complete shutout at 9-0. You were getting five to six of those goals. How was it playing with your teammate? Uh, it was pretty easy to work with him. He, he was good at other games, so like he understood like the basic concept of Rocket League, which was good, but he hadn't played much, so once he started going, I think that's when our confidence kicked in and we were able to score a lot, so that was great. Well, thanks a lot, Justin. We can't wait to see what you've got coming up in the next challenges. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so we're now joined by Dr. Meatloaf. Your Rocket League 2v2 match was the closest of all five matches. The teams are very well balanced. How do you feel during the match? When I found out that Glue Ghost was my partner, I messaged him and we started practicing some drills together. He played defensive mostly, while I played offensive. You scored the winning goal in the last 10 seconds of the match. How did that feel? Scoring that winning goal felt pretty good. Uh, I felt like I was on the top of the world at that moment. Yes, we got it. Okay, Glue, let's go. Glue. Let me just give you a little kiss here, Glue. <laughs> good luck, Dr. Meatloaf. Well, to all the competitors today, congratulations on making it this far. And if you lost, do not fret. You'll be going on to Fortnite for our elimination challenge. But first, let's check in with Multiverse Boone to see how that LEGO Technic build is going. It's going great, Boone Prime. Thanks for asking. Much like this show, the great thing about LEGO Technic models is that you can stick to the script, follow the instructions, and make something incredible. Or you can go off book and let your imagination run wild. Except when you hit a dead end. Did you skip a step? Is everything properly connected? Did you make a mistake? Being able to solve problems on the fly and maintain your calm in the face of adversity isn't just helpful when you're working on a Lego Technic build, it's a crucial skill in life, and especially if you want to make it in the high stakes world of the Luminosity Academy. The Lego Technic off-road buggy has the added fun of being a remote control racer, but with the addition of motors and wireless technology comes the additional need to pay attention to how those components are integrated within the model. The Bluetooth battery pack and motors work seamlessly with the Technic structure of the vehicle along with the gears, axles, and wheels to pack this model with tons of off-road fun. 
It's my job to make sure all the components come together correctly. If I hit a roadblock, I'll use problem-solving skills to find a solution. It's week two of our competition, so it's only fitting that we test our contestants with a special elimination challenge. We call it All Gas, No Bricks. The 10 competitors who did not earn immunity in our first challenge must now go head-to-head -head in a Fortnite speedrun battle. The first five contestants to reach level 20 will move on, and the remaining five contestants will be eliminated. In three, two, one. All right, and it looks like the race has begun. There they go. The first few Easter eggs are pretty easy to see. Hello? Hello? Okay, no, this is so great. One contender, Sunday 30, already at seven, blowing past the competition. All right, here we go. Oh, it looks like there's an interesting one right there, where they actually had to throw an object at a target. Jay Long isn't far behind with five. Oh, here we go, it's the trap section. And he found a way to cheese the trap section by walking along the side. Incredible. Ibby with nine Easter eggs now. And Sunday 30 able to take back his lead at 10 total. Oh, it looks like we had another fatality. Some people haven't been able to make it past the first section. And I think unfortunately those might be people that uh, are going to be eliminated here today. I think you're on to something there. Right now we're watching someone perform some absolutely difficult parkour, but with complete ease. Tristan able to grab himself another egg there, and I don't know what's going on there and how he stopped himself from dying, but uh, he is getting very lucky. And it looks like he was able to take the teleporter, and I believe that sent him back to a new area. This is really looking like a cross between a family fun center and a fantastical death zone. I was gonna say, what family fun centers do you go to? <laughs> All right, it looks like Sun 30 still able to command his lead at 13. However, Ibby tying it up at 13 as well. Jay Long still has nine. No, bro. Phase and Mystery is the first to 20 Easter eggs. And it looks like Sun A30 pulling to 18 points. They may be able to secure themselves a victory here. And it looks like we have our second person getting the pass on to the next week. It's Rally, the person who was able to rally a point in our very first Rocket League match. Absolutely. And it looks like Tristan now finishing up. We have three of the spots closed. There are only two remaining. Who is gonna claim those two spots and move on to the next challenges? I'll tell you who, Sun A30, now at 22, just going above and beyond. One spot remains. Oh, ouch! And ooh, another missed attempt on that parkour. Some people still aren't able to make it past the very first section, unfortunately. All right, so it looks like we had our final contestant break through, and it turns out to be Duke. So funny enough, two contenders from the other week's trivia, both Duke and Tristan, managed to pull themselves back yet again. They, they are fighters. Are, they are fighters. They are sticking with it. They're using that perseverance, and, uh, and I think a little bit of luck is on their side as well. Absolutely. So moving on, we have Sunny 30 Mystery, Trist, Duke, and Rally. Congratulations, y'all. You get to live on. All right, now we're joined with Zebra King. I have to say, you had the best branding out of any of the contestants with zebras. Tell us about that. What inspired you to become the king of zebras? For as long as I can remember, I have always loved zebras. When I was deciding the branding for my channel, zebras were my number one pick. Which challenges did you find to be the most difficult? The speed run and also the Rocket League challenge. I was always at a disadvantage, being as I had never played either of the games before. The good news is, before that, you were one of the fastest LEGO speed builders. Tell us about that. Do you have a lot of experience? I had never really built for speed, and so it was a new experience. I just loved going as fast as I could. It was a blast. 
And after all of this, do you think you're gonna still pursue this as a career? I have always wanted, since I was little, to entertain the world. It's been my big dream. Watch out, world. I'm coming for you. Well, thanks so much for joining us, and I'm sure this isn't the last we'll hear of the Zebra King. All right, so we're now joined by Z-Mojo. Unfortunately, he's not gonna be joining us in the future weeks, but how has your journey been so far? My journey's been great. I was feeling super confident uh, in the LEGO Challenge, uh, but sadly, just the Rocket League uh, 2v2s was just not what I'm that good at. The Fortnite speedrun, I haven't like had much experience in it. You were absolutely great on the LEGO build. How did it feel when you were going into that? It was amazing. Uh, I've had a lot of experience with building LEGO sets and just LEGO in general. I was super confident that I could get it done fast and uh, hopefully follow all the instructions. Being able to build LEGO my whole life kind of prepared me for it and now uh, I'm kind of back into it. I want to buy a couple more sets and keep building. And last but not least, what was your biggest takeaway from this experience? My biggest takeaway would be to keep building your connections and networking and throw yourself out there. This challenge has helped me meet a lot of new people and I've enjoyed the experience fully and uh, I'm glad with all the skills and that I can keep uh, building LEGO. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on Zmojo. Thanks so much and best of luck in the future. Thank you. And to the other contenders who are gonna be leaving us today, we wanna to say thank you so much for trying your best and we hope you had fun. You definitely showed a lot of courage here and we're all very happy with your performance. We started today with 20 competitors. Now we must say goodbye to the bottom five. Parting is such sweet sorrow, but putting stuff together is way better. Let's see how the real Boone is doing with that Lego Technic set. Wait, I'm the real Boone. Yeah, sure, sure you are, other Boone. Honestly, I'm not sure which boon I am anymore. But what I am sure of is that I crushed this Lego Technic off-road buggy. Building the Lego Technic off-road buggy required problem-solving skills. With its RC motor, suspension, and radical graphics, the off-road buggy is ready to rock and roll. The skills of collaboration and problem solving are getting me through these incredible Technic builds and making our first class participants even stronger competitors. By working together with myself from across the multiverse, I was able to overcome every obstacle, sticking point, and problem that crossed my path. And check out how cool this finished build is in action. Wow, that guy gets to have all the fun. I know, right? But enough about him. And honestly, enough of me too. Thank you so much for joining us on the second episode of Luminosity Academy, Lego Technic First Class. With just 15 competitors remaining, people are going to have to step it up next week. Creativity is key if they want to survive our toughest challenges yet. Take a sneak peek at what's in store, and we'll see you next time. And oh. no! Next week, our remaining 15 contestants will be tested on both their mechanical skills and spatial skills. Wait, what? What is that? As they face all new immunity and elimination challenges. Will he be able to make it work? No! Tune in to find out who gets one step closer to the Luminosity Gaming Academy. Let's go! Until next time, stay curious, stay hungry, and play well. And zombies are attacking! Wow. Zombies everywhere! 